Well, tonight, Fort Lauderdale's mayor is cracking down on scooter safety, saying if riders can't follow the rules of the road, he'll slam on the brakes permanently. Local 10's Todd Tonga drives for more. Todd. Fort Lauderdale's only had these scooters for about two months, but it's a pretty clearly a safety issue here on the beach. We've been here much of the day. We've seen dozens of scooters zipping uh, back and forth, most of them on the sidewalk. Can you imagine what it would be like during spring break with the crowd that comes to Fort Lauderdale Beach? Last November, the Fort Lauderdale City Commission began allowing these electric scooter rentals in the city, and there was a lot of excitement. It's been very successful in terms of people using them. Since then, the mayor has changed his tune. We're actually trying to experiment to see whether or not we should remove them from the beach, but certainly they're creating havoc on our sidewalks. On February 5th, the commission will vote on banning scooters from the beach over spring break, but that may be only the beginning if scooter law and order isn't established. I just saw a little kid, probably 10, 11, years old, barely under control, passing a bunch of people. But scooter riders like Brandon Barbie loves them. No, I like them. I think they're pretty good, actually. Uh, they save me time. But they can be dangerous. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue began tracking scooter accidents in December, and there were 35 accidents, 27 people transported to the hospital, four with life-threatening injuries, and two were under the age of 18, including a 14-year-old boy riding one, still in the hospital after he was injured by a hit-and-run driver. Fire Rescue also determined there are many more incidents at night, and there were twice as many on weekdays as opposed to weekends. With four different scooter vendors serving Fort Lauderdale, if you go to downtown, scooters are just about everywhere. There's two over here, there's one over on that corner, there's one on this corner, there's one literally on every single corner. You see people, they're weaving in and out of uh, people. I'm just ready to take somebody out if they're coming at me. <laughs> That's if the mayor doesn't beat you to the punch. Well, we did reach out to uh, Lime, one of the companies that provides a great deal of these scooters, and they say they are working with the city. They want to see the program continue, and they will work with the mayor and the city in regards to spring break. On Fort Lauderdale Beach, Todd Tongan, Local 10 News. Yeah, safety first. Thank you, Todd.